Hi, my name is Josie. My name is Ethel, and we are here to demonstrate how to set up the continuous cardiac output and SVO2 monitoring on a patient arriving from surgery. Turn on the monitor by pushing the front panel button on the top right. The monitor will go into self-test mode. Pushing continue will bring you to the home screen. This home screen is now displayed. Please note the continuous cardiac output catheter is already connected to the optical module cable. Now connect the optical module cable to the red SVO2 color-coded connector on the front of the monitor. Navigate the knob to highlight the SVO2 large parameter frame and push display the menu. What is the difference between in vitro and in vivo calibration? In vitro calibration is performed prior to the continuous cardiac output catheter being inserted. In vivo means calibration is performed after the continuous cardiac output catheter is inserted. Now use the navigation knob to recall OM data. OM means optical module. This takes a few minutes to display. We are now going to pause the video to place the monitor in demo mode to show data collected. Let's review. The optical module cable, red, shows SVO2 data collected. The brown color cable is the continuous cardiac output cable, which you will need to connect to the continuous cardiac output catheter. At the other end of the cable will connect to the bottom left on the monitor. We will not connect due to the monitor in the demo mode. Press the cardiac output start stop button to begin the continuous cardiac output monitoring process. Collecting continuous cardiac output data is displayed on the monitor which will take approximately three to six minutes. While we are waiting, let's go to the patient data icon to get a cardiac index result by pressing the button. Put in the patient's height and weight. Pushing the patient data icon will get you out of this screen. To obtain a continuous cardiac output cardiac index faster, we will go to the stats screen. The stats screen calculates the continuous cardiac or cardiac output cardiac index approximately 60 second intervals. Press to select. To activate the stat screen, use the navigation knob to highlight the full split screen icon and press select. Now let's see our data collected. Because the Vigilance 2 monitor does not operate on batteries, to transfer the patient to another department, such as CT scan, disconnect the cables only. Please do not connect the catheter from the optical module which is the blue disc on the catheter. When the patient returns to the room, repeat recall OM data. Thank you. We hope, we hope this has been helpful. Thank you.